President Bola Tinubu's mandate was extended following the decision of the leaders to ensure continuity and consistency in meeting targets on security, reconciliation and development. He was first elected to the position in Guinea-Bissau on July 9, 2023. In his acceptance speech, Tinubu said he will focus on consolidating the virtues of democracy and upholding the interests of the regional body, which will clock 50 years in 2025. I've accepted to continue the, the service with uh, great members and great minds that have uh, committed to democratic value and the journey uh, for us in, in the region. I'll continue my utmost best to serve our interests and build on democratic value and the structure that we inherited. The president appointed president of Senegal, His Excellency Mr. Basiru Dumai Fai, and the president of Togo, Mr. Faure Ezuma Ngasigbe, as special envoys to Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger Republic, the three countries which announced their withdrawal from ECOWAS in January. Having a new mandate, I will request Mr. Faye to please become our special envoy along to go to do a round clock walk with uh, our brothers in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. Bola Tinubu stressed that reasonable financial resources were crucial to operationalize the ECO standby force and combat terrorism, banditry, and violent extremism in the region. He then called on member nations to honor their financial obligations to enable ECOWAS to meet the expectations and recommendations of its Minister of Defense and Finance. We must, therefore, ensure that we meet the expectations and recommendations set forth by our Ministers of Defense and Finance in order to counter the insecurity and stabilize our region. The president also advised ECOWAS member states to unite and develop innovative approaches to unlock the region's economic potential and promote prosperity. He acknowledged the economic hurdles hindering progress and stressed the need for partnerships, investment and infrastructural development. Earlier in his speech, the president of ECOWAS commissioned Dr. Umar Ali Taure so the region had proven that democracy was alive, given the recent successful transition in Senegal, Nigeria, Guinea-Bissau, Sri Lanka, and Liberia. Excellencies, the elections that have taken place so far this year and those that took place last year here in Nigeria, in Guinea-Bissau, in Sierra Leone, and Liberia show that despite all odds, Democracy is alive in our region. He revealed that the Commission had commenced preparation towards the 50th anniversary celebrations of ECOWAS. Taura said the Commission was proposing a special extraordinary summit on the future of the community. From State House, Abuja, Hassan Umar Farouk for Liberty News.